So this is relating to Hubble's law, and it's quite a quantitative law, which is why I felt I did have to ask some calculation questions about this. So, um, so Hubble's law, it refers to the discovery that, um, well, it's explained as um, um, our, we live in, us living in an expanding universe, that's the module six in the description. And in module five, we were we just left it that um, it appears to be that the recessional velocity of uh, distant galaxies is proportional to their distance from us. This h being a constant, uh, that's the Hubble constant, and that's the observational law, observational uh, description, and a way to explain that would be that we live in an expanding universe. And you, the section 26.5 does um, go into a more um, description of it than we did in module five lecture slides uh, with the expanding loaf of bread. <laughs> so uh, I'm saving that for module six. So we'll get to that in module six. Um, in terms of calculation here, we can use this as our uh, anchor point. So this is an observation on law, and we can do some example calculation based on that. So um, first the question asks, um, according to Hubble's law, what is the recessional velocity of a galaxy that is this many distance away from us? And, and the hints will kind of tell you how to work through the calculation. I'll just uh, you know, demonstrate it. So for part A, um, we already we are given the equation that's in perfect form for answering exactly this, this form here. Because um, what I'm looking at it is this, um, what information do we know and what information are we asked for? Now the information that we know is this, the Hubble constant, we are given what value to use um, that can be plugged in here. And we are for part A, we are given the distance and that can be plugged in here. And what it's asking for is the speed, which is um, the number that we should get when we do this product here. So that's really it. The only thing to watch out for might be the unit. So let me write out the calculation that we are doing and highlight the unit issue. So, um, so, so what I'm trying to do now is just multiply Hubble constant with the distance. So doing this calculation, Hubble constant times the distance, that'll look like, okay, let me just write down that Hubble constant, which has a number and it has a unit. Um, I want you to pay attention to that. Kilometer per second per million light years. And that um, million is important. Times the distance, uh, we are given this distance here two times 10 to the eight uh, light years. And when you do this calculation, so you know, if you're just doing this calculation of um, 22 times two times 10 to the eight and plug it in here, you the system will say it's wrong. And there's a reason for that. It's because uh, you forgot about the units. Um, so, it's one of the things that when people get trained in astronomy and physics, uh, we um, learn to pay attention to. So not only are the numbers important, what units the numbers are expressed in are also important. That's why you have to pay attention to this kilometers per second. And um, I do see I have this kilometers per second. So it'll be good to have that you need at the very end. So I'm gonna keep track of that. And I got a bunch of other units that I don't want. Uh, for example, this light year, that's a unit that I don't want. Now I do see something that looks like a light here, light year here. And um, so it looks like they will cancel us somehow. So that's good. Now a problem here is that million light year 
it's not the same thing as a light year. Um, so I have to convert from a million light year to light years. So I've demonstrated this uh, conversion, uh, unit conversion process a few times in previous questions. Let me just uh, um, demonstrate again here. The, the unit conversion process that I like is what's sometimes called multiplying by one. That is you multiply by a number, a fraction that's specifically constructed so that the numerator and the denominator are the same. And you construct them in such a way that you cancel out the units that you don't want. In this weird case, both of them are units that I don't want. So to cancel out million light years in the denominator, I want million light years in the numerator over this thing that I'm constructing. And to cancel out the light year uh, in the numerator, I need a light year in the denominator of this fraction that I'm constructing. And I need to construct it, this in such a way that the numerator and the denominator are actually the same quantity so that I can call that whole ratio one. So here, um, let me just put in one for top, one million light year. And how many light years is a million light year? Well, one million or 10 to the power of six. That's a million. So yeah, so that's a, what I need. And uh, so now when I work it through here, this million light year will get canceled out by this. This light year will get canceled out by this. And I'm gonna be left with just the kilometers per second. So, um, so I'm just ready to work through that calculation. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess I don't necessarily. I, so I highlighted Wolfram Alpha enough times in the past, so I won't do it again. Uh, that Wolfram Alpha is another way to double check your answer and uh, make sure what you're doing with the units appears right. Um, so you can do that on your own if you want. Let me just carry out this calculation 22 times two times power of eight. Uh, the way I entered it on my calculator is two. And this key means times power of eight. That's also the E notation that you've seen from time to time. You need to divide it by 10 times power of six or um, more precisely what that is, is one times 10 to the power of six. So on my calculator, I have to enter it as one times 10 to the power of six. So, okay, uh, 4,400, oh, sorry. Yeah, 4.4 thousand uh, kilometers per second. Okay, that, I don't know if that sounds right, but that's the number I got. So I'll enter that and see if it says it's right. Okay, uh, good. Uh, so we got that part. Um, let's, uh, Move on, I guess I need to clear everything here. Let me just clear everything and I'm just gonna copy down a version of uh, Hubble's law on the side so that I have access to it as I'm working through the later parts. It's a Hubble constant times D, okay. Okay, so for part D, it says a cluster of galaxies observed moving at this speed estimate the distance to the cluster. Um, oh, and sorry, I should have written that Hubble constant as well. Um, so Hubble constant is 22 kilometers per second per million light years, in case you don't have it memorized. And by the way, I don't recommend taking time to memorize constants. Okay, um, so it's asking for distance. And this is where I'm going through the same exercise again. What am I being asked for? Uh, what quantities are known? So I'm being asked for distance here. Hmm. And I'm being given the velocity, V, and I know Hubble constant. Um, so I don't have an equation that's already solved for this here. So I need to solve for it. And uh, that's what the calculation hints will walk you through that um, in case the <laughs> algebra is what's tricking you up. You look at the calculation hints, it'll walk, walk you through that algebra. So the algebra to do here is to take the Hubble's law 
and imagine multiplying through the whole thing by uh, one over h. Uh, I'm do doing this multiplication with the purpose that here, where I have the quantity I want, I'll be left with just d and nothing else. So when I go through that, on the left-hand side, I have v divided by h. And on the right-hand side, this is designed to cancel out the h, and I just have d. So the distance um, that you can calculate using Hubble's law is going to be the recessional velocity divided by Hubble's constant. Um, OK, uh, let me just write that out and make sure all the units work out. So distance is um, recessional velocity, 65,000 kilometers per second, divided by the Hubble constant, which is here. 22 kilometers per second per million light years. Um, since I was talking about how important the units are, let's just uh, work through the units, make sure we are all squared up. I have kilometers per second on the numerator and the kilometers per second on the denominator. So that means I can cancel them out. And I'm left with this one unit that, um, it's not canceling out, and I guess it's not supposed to. Let me just write out the simplified version. The simplified version here is one over one over million light years. Okay, so you have to work through here. We have a reciprocal over reciprocal, and you when you work through it, hopefully it all makes a sense that this whole thing is just a million light years in the numerator, and that's it. No other complications. So, so we end with a unit that the question is already asking the question in. So, so I, I think a unit will just work themselves out. We'll just uh, do the numbers in our calculator. So we have 65,000 kilometers per second divided by the Hubble constant, which is 22 kilometers per second per million light years. And that should be the distance in million light years. Um, so 2,955 light years, million light years. That is rather far, but um, hey, that's the result. So I think that's right. Yeah, and, and, and for um, number sense purposes, that's about 3 billion light years away. And we have detected objects that are about 3 billion light years away. The outermost uh, range of uh, the uh, objects we've seen are something like uh, 13 billion light years away. So, um, so this is kind of mid range. Um, and this velocity is, is where it's large enough where you have to start worrying about special relativity, but not quite yet. <laughs> so, uh, but that's another question. So let me hold that until that other question. Okay, um, the part C says that we will estimate the Hubble constant. Let me make some space here. Uh, let me erase it here. So for parts, we are ignoring uh, the given value of a Hubble constant. Um, so, you know, don't just uh, plug in 22. Uh, I guess uh, there's a, like one in 10 chance that the way the question generates for you, this might be correct, but that's only like one in 10 chance. There's a greater chance that that won't be recognized as a correct answer. So, so you need to go through the math uh, because it comes down to if, uh, so this is an average to quantity. You make many, many measurements based on many, many galaxies, and this is the best to estimate. Uh, if you were to take just one single galaxy, it's kind of, there's a lot of random statistical error. So, um, so for this question, I'm asking to include all this statistical error, just to tell me what, the estimate would be based on this single measurement. Okay, so with the stipulation, uh, let's uh, go through the same thing again. I'm looking for what values I know and what quantity I'm asked for. So I'm being given the distance, um, this many light years. I know the distance. I'm being given the recessional velocity. I'm being given V, oh, yeah, and I'm being asked for the Hubble constant. Okay, so I need to go through a little bit of algebra again to solve for that Hubble constant. So uh, it's the same step as before. You take the expression for Hubble's law, 
And this time, uh, so again, I'm thinking through here and I'm trying to isolate this by itself. So to do that, I'm gonna have to multiply through by one over D. That way these will cancel. I'll just have H by itself. And on the left-hand side, I'll have a V over D. So that's gonna be equal to H. Okay, um, let's write it out. Our estimate of Hubble constant is the velocity, 5,500 kilometer per second divided by then many light years to uh, 89.5 million light years. Uh, let's make sure the, the unit will work out. So nothing cancels here. And the unit I'm ending up with is kilometers per second per million light year. And I think that's the unit I'm being asked for. Kilometers per second per million light years. So I'll just keep everything. I just need to work out these numbers. That's what they will be looking for at the, the blank. So 5,500 divided by 289.5. So 18.998 um, or close enough to 19. Let me plug in 19. 19 kilometer per second per million light years. So yeah, that's uh, it. Um, so when you look at it in the end, it's not uh, super complicated. It's uh, based on relatively simple expression, relatively simple algebra, but um, you know, with the calculation questions, there are many, many places where people can go wrong. And I do think that's why I tend to get a lot of questions about calculation questions.